timeout swing. So final instructions are in from the referee. Zucker again in the gold and the pink. Lentz in the gold and uh, red. Red reddish. Reddish. <laughs> is, that a, is that a cape? I think it's a cape. I like that. All right, right away we can see Zucker looking for the single leg, trying for that shot, but once she gets inside, the size of Lentz, the power of Lentz is very evident. I'll admit I'm not as well-versed in Taekwondo as I may be in some of the American martial arts, but there's a kick there. Oh, nice. Zucker takes advantage of it and in full mount right away. Bad spot here for Lentz on her back, but a sweep to the top. Nice reversal. I think that I think the difference in weight might have given her a little bit of edge getting the getting Zucker off top there. Absolutely. Lentz has a lot of power. She's now on top, grinding away. The striker by trade, a Taekwondo fighter, is Lentz in the black and gold. Nice see Zucker on bottom. Trying to isolate that right arm. Oh, she gave up her back. Turned over to try to escape and giving up her back. As you said, Lentz. Oh, she got it underneath the neck. This could be bad. Dominant position here for Lentz. Steps over to get full rear mount. Oh, looks like she could be working for a granola arm bar, maybe? Zucker's in some trouble oh, here. Back in the mount. Zucker tries to roll over. Lentz still in full mount right now. Trying to isolate that right arm as well. The striker by trade trying to figure out the submissions on the ground right now. It's got to be super tiring for Zucker to be carrying the weight and trying to fight this off this whole time. It's going to be a grueling round for her. Absolutely. Even as a, a wrestling stylist, having that background, having somebody on top of you is not, is not easy to do. Trying to escape here. Rolling. Transitions, but Lance just too much on top. She have the right arm around the nether. Looking for uh -oh. the guillotine choke. Full mount. Torquing on the neck, looking for the choke. Can she get the finish? Zucker in a lot of trouble here, but oh, sweeps reverse. over. And she had to tap. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Here is your winner. Two minutes, 26 seconds into round number one. By submission, Stacy. Disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. You all right? North Dakota is a very small town state where everybody knows everybody. So the second I tell one person, everybody knows. So basically, I gotta win. I mean, it's costume brawl. And the most important thing is to have a great costume. And in the first fight, I definitely think that Carly won the costume battle. First of all, because, you know, who doesn't like seeing this, like, cool harem thing going on? And the second part of it is that I had no clue what her opponent even was. I mean, she looked like the Little Caesars guy. I don't know. So Stacy's costume did cover her up a little bit more than other people, but I mean, she's a bigger girl, so you know, it's fine. I mean, I'm sure some people didn't mind. I totally thought that Stacy was Snow White. I did not know that she was dressed up like a gladiator. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> so. With a background on this thing. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, weighing 130 pounds, and fighting out of Bismarck, North Dakota, Kari Zuzakar! And her opponent, representing the black team, also making her with a background in kickboxing, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing 185 pounds, and fighting out of Fargo, North Dakota, Stacy Full Contact Lens. Carly really has no chance against me. I. I am the heavyweight champion of North Dakota. I have probably 50 pounds on her, and my reach and my leg kicks are, are not going to let her inside, so she'll, she'll fall. All right, right away we can see Zucker looking for the single leg, trying for that shot, but once she gets inside. Keeping in mind, I have very limited time with Stacy. 
And I don't even know if Joel spent any time with Carly outside of maybe trying to get her phone number. The fight was a little rough. I mean, it was it was the opening fight, but it was a little rough. When Stacy kicked me, it it had a lot of power behind it, and it kind of woke me up a little bit that I needed to work harder and be better. So I managed to get a takedown. Zucker takes advantage of it and in full mount right away. Bad spot here for Lynch on her back, but a sweep to the top. Nice reversal. I think that I think the difference in weight might have given her a little bit of edge getting the getting Zucker off top there. Absolutely. Lynch has a lot of power. She's now on top, grinding away. The striker by trade, a Taekwondo fighter, is Lentz in the black and gold. Nice see Zucker on bottom. Trying to isolate that right arm. Oh, she gave up her back. So the fight between Carly and Stacy went worse than I hoped. Oh, looks like she could be working for her little arm bar maybe? Zucker's in some trouble oh, here. Back in the mount. I, I don't like um, what she did in the fight, though. I don't like that. She, like, you know, swung at her face and, you know, gave uh, Carly a black eye. Got to be super tiring for Zucker to be carrying the weight and trying to fight this off this whole time. It's going to be a grueling round for her. Rolling, transitions, but Lance just too much on top. She had the right arm around the nether, looking for uh -oh. the guillotine choke. Full mount, torquing on the neck, looking for the choke. Can she get the finish? Zucker in a lot of trouble here, but oh, sweeps reverse. over. And she had to tap. So I don't know if it's an LFC curse or not, that when someone has their first fight, they suffer some type of wardrobe malfunction. So there is some what of a curse happening here where every girl is their first fight and they normally have a costume malfunction. And that just comes from inexperience. Your first fight, you don't really know how it's gonna go. When I fight, anytime I fight, I double up on bras. I. If I have to, depending on what the outfit is, I put little pasties on. I'm not worried about it so much. I, I'm pretty careful. I try to make sure that my lingerie is uh, secure enough that it won't happen. I wasn't that worried about a wardrobe malfunction for me personally because I had, you know, tested out a few different outfits and, uh, you know, did some jumping around and some sparring in them just to make sure that I would be, you know, all tucked in and good to go. What's up? Hey. I'm disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. For him to look at you and to just say, I'm just disappointed, you will be like, okay. So, I didn't do anything right. I didn't really hold any punches on Carly. I told her exactly how I felt and I was disappointed. She was my first overall pick and I've had a history of first overall picks not doing well. You're just, you're disappointed. Point. That's it. You know, I don't think that's fair. But sometimes you need tough love. That's how you grow.